Livestock in Ireland are commonly infected with parasitic worms, including stomach and gut worms, lung worm, and liver fluke. In this video, we will focus on stomach and gut worms. Anthelminthics, or wormers, are the medicines that are used for the treatment and control of these parasitic worm and fluke infections to prevent production losses and death in livestock. Reports of anthelmintic resistance are a major concern, particularly in stomach and gut worms in sheep and dairy calves. When anthelmintics are used correctly, they should effectively control a worm infection. Resistance is present when worms or fluke survive a dose of anthelmintic that is normally expected to kill them. This ability to survive a treatment can be passed on to the worm's offspring in their genes. The basic life cycle of stomach and gut worms begins when larvae on the pastures are eaten by sheep or cattle while grazing. These worm larvae develop into adults that produce eggs which are then passed out with the dung. The eggs develop into larvae and continue the cycle. Worms that have resistance genes are more likely to survive any anthelmintic treatments and then reproduce, laying eggs that contaminate the pastures when passed out with the dung. Frequent treatment selects for resistant worms, and with each cycle of the worms breeding and repeated treatments, the proportion of resistant worms on the farm can increase. The impact of resistance may not be noticeable at first, because the anthelmintics remain effective. But as the proportion of worms carrying the resistance genes increases in the cattle or sheep on the farm, the wormer treatments will become less effective, impacting the animal's performance and targets. In cattle, there are three main classes of broad-spectrum anthelmintics for stomach or gut worms. In sheep, we have two additional classes that are newer to the market. If worms develop resistance to an anthelmintic in a specific class, the other medicines within the same class are also less effective against those worms. A drench test can give an indication of whether an anthelmintic is working effectively. This involves taking dung samples before giving the anthelmintic treatment and sending the samples to the laboratory for a faecal egg count. The dung samples are repeated from the same animals 7 to 14 days later depending on the product used. There should not be any worm eggs in the follow-up dung sample if the treatment has been effective, and the presence of eggs warrants further investigation. The drench testing is primarily for stomach or gut worms, and the protocols differ for resistance in liver fluke. It is always best to speak to your veterinary practitioner about the details of the testing if you suspect there might be resistance to anthelmintics on your farm. There could be other causes for treatment failure that should also be explored. Visit the AHI website for more information on parasites and their control.